Welcome everyone to web design and development course. This web design course will teach you HTML, HTML5, and cascading style sheets. It is aimed at complete beginners to the subject and assumes you have no knowledge of creating web pages. We don't need to use an any expensive software for this course. To see what you will need, simply follow this video lessons. And the course has been designed to work on just about any operating system. This video is an introduction to HTML5 and CSS. Here you'll see the source and reference for this video. So I hope you'll be able to follow along this web design course. The aim of this course is to get you started designing web pages. It is assumed that you have little or no experience of the subject. During our time together, you'll learn some new concepts and ideas, and most of which will not be difficult. After all, there are billions of pages on the internet, designed by the whole spectrum of humanity. Children, adults, pensioners, people from all walks of life have sites out there. And if they can do it, so can you. In fact, follow the lessons carefully and you will be able to do it. Before long, you'll have your own pages designed and ready to be uploaded there for the world to see. The technologies you will learn are HTML, HTML5, and cascading style sheets. HTML5 is the newest version of the language. The source and reference are also included in this video. Coming up next are the ESLRs. As you watch this video, please bear in mind about our ESLRs. And these are right thought, right communication, right attitude, right conduct, and right lifestyle. The intent of this video is to be able to get acquainted with web design. And we are in section 1.1. To get started with HTML, we'll discuss how HTML started and how it was developed throughout the years. We will also discuss what HTML is. There are only two things that we really need to do in this course. A local server and a simple text editor. I'll explain all about this in the next videos. The anatomy of a web page, the software for writing web pages. The operating system is quite not important so we can do this course on a PC or on a Mac. There are a number of files that we will need in order to complete certain sections. Whenever we need a file for a section of our course, it will be explained in the relevant section. In the next slide, we'll cover the history of HTML. Here we can see the history of HTML. So it was first published in 1991 and through the years it they developed it and in 1995 version 2 was created and in 1997 they built HTML 3.2 and two years later HTML 4.01 was created and they call it um, XHTML and it's it has stricter standards as well and in the year 2000 they developed it to XHTML 1.0 continue in 2002 to 2009 they have developed it to X HTML 2.0 so this time it had even stricter standards compared to version 1 rejecting web pages that did not comply and it also fell out of favor gradually and was abandoned completely in 2009 however in 2012 they built HTML 5 so HTML5 is much more tolerant and can handle markup from all the prior versions. 
though HTML5 was published officially in 2012, it has been in development since 2004. So what is HTML? At the heart of every web page is something called HTML. You will learn what this is and how to code it. You will also learn the newest version of HTML, which is called HTML5. Both versions are included in this course, as well as HTML. You will learn about cascading style sheets and will be able to improve the look of your web pages by adding CSS to enhance them. At the end of most chapters in this course, you will see a summary table of what you have learned. The summary tables are also included in a separate document called quickreference.pdf. Going back to our question, what is HTML? HTML means Hypertext Markup Language. It is a hypertext document disc describe web pages. It's a static web page. HTML tags are keywords surrounded by angle brackets like HTML. HTML tags normally come in pairs like this one, as you can see it. The first tag in a pair is the start tag or opening tags. The second tag is the end tag. For today's classwork, please use the internet to search and read more about HTML. In the next video, we will learn where to write and save HTML codes, how to run HTML codes, and I'll show you some examples as well as elements and HTML web page. Thank you for watching this video.